Milwaukee is home to countless world class artists and some of them have shown their support for the Bucks with some impressive displays of public art. I'm joined now by Molly Snyder from on at Milwaukee to find out more about some of these murals and Molly just one question. Are you, are you how are you? Are you alive? How's the adrenaline going? Because I'm, I'm hanging in there on a loose thread today. I am an emotional wreck. Um, I have been sleep deprived, uh, just so happy and so emotional for Milwaukee as a whole. I've cried more this week, a tears of joy, but still <laughs> that I have in ages. Today is the first day I feel like, okay, I'm, I have my grounding now. I'm ready to, I'm ready to go. So. Right, ready to go. <laughs> well, I'm ready to sleep. That's the plan for this weekend. But we want to talk about these artworks that are just so impressive across the city of, of uh, Wisconsin or Milwaukee rather. And so tell us about the, the ones that you picked out. Well, it's it's really awesome because Jack Daniels commissioned a number of artists in Milwaukee, a very nice wage to paint some incredible murals here in Milwaukee. And uh, we saw them uh, in various locations all over the city. Some of my absolute favorites, uh, Tia Richardson did a beautiful mural in River West on Holton Street. Uh, it's not only bucks, it also brings in elements of community. Uh, it's just so joyful and colorful to look at. Highly recommend it, uh, especially this weekend when it's hot. Uh, going on a mur mural tour from your car is a wonderful idea. Uh, just, you know, on, on Milwaukee, we have a list. You can go cruise by five or six of them. They're relatively close neighborhoods. And so you can just like really uh, bring in and, and check out a bunch of these at once. Uh, but I, I got to just say a couple of my other favorite ones, which I, I really am struck by. And that is there's one on Second Street street in Walker's Point uh, on the side of Walker's Pint, which is a bar on Second Street. And this one is actually of a massive sacred heart uh, under a Milwaukee skyline and hidden in the background of the paint is Go Bucks Go, Go Bucks Go, Go Bucks Go all over. It's just so vibrant and it's so just it absolutely celebrates Milwaukee, but then also these like hidden messages that uh, are, are there just for the bucks. And this one I just, I absolutely love. Uh, it's Aisha Valentine. She's a wonderful Milwaukee muralist and artist and just is really getting some recognition for this one. Uh, of course, if you want Giannis murals, there's plenty of Giannis murals too. So <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And look, Molly, this really helps us here in the city of Milwaukee because we've had a tough year with tourism, obviously COVID-19. And like you said, this is something that you could just hop in your car, pop in the location on your phone and then boom, take some pictures and enjoy that. So this is really a way to, to, to kind of turn that around, right? Absolutely. This is so great for Milwaukee. It's a cliche now, but we all know it. It's just wonderful, wonderful for everyone in the city right now. And just taking in free art uh, just makes it, it's good for everyone. So I highly recommend checking out some of these murals. And there's so many other great murals in Milwaukee too. We also have a guide to those uh, on, on Milwaukee if anyone's interested in even extending it beyond the bucks to other great Milwaukee murals. Milwaukee is full of them. So. Yeah, and absolutely. You can actually uh, find the artist information as well and maybe learn a little bit more about them. Molly, thank you.